Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new update for the NVIDIA Omniverse Audio to Face. Now, I haven't made a lot of videos about this because I was actually waiting for it to be compatible with MetaHumans, and today is today. So big thanks to people at NVIDIA for letting me know, Prof E, for giving me a heads up about this new update. So basically, to get this started, let's go ahead and go to our launcher here. That's not my launcher. It's right here. So if you go to the settings, make sure that you have the newest audio to face version, which is 2021.3.1. Uh, Additionally, if you go to the exchange, we have to install the 4.27 connector so that this is going to work with Unreal Engine 4.27. So go right here, install it. It's already installed, so that's good. Make sure you have the current version. And after that, you're set to go. Go ahead and open it up. I have it opened right here. Okay, so what is NVIDIA Omniverse Audio to Face? Well, it takes a sample of your audio, your voice, your dialogue, and it creates a facial animation for it using AI, more like black magic. But um, yeah, let me show you an example real quick. If I press play right here. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. That's sorcery, right? So that, that's just crazy to me that the AI can produce facial mouth animations using just audio because i know in the channel i've been using a lot of face mocap uh, softwares and helmets but this is just another option that you can do if you can't afford facial mocaps or phones or anything like that because this is absolutely for the free okay so let's go ahead and load up my audio here because i want to try to see how it does with my voice and my accent all right and i'm going to go to my audio and it's called dong now i did have to uh, i wasn't able to take my 32 float audio straight out. So I went to audition and just exported a regular wave, which this should work. It looks like it did right there. Audio dong and let's play it. Hey, what's going on? So this is Jay from JS Films and today we're going to be taking a look at audio to face for meta humans. All right. So that is bananas. That is crazy i mean the technology nowadays is just getting scary but with that being said how do we add this to the meta human how do we use this with the meta humans in unreal well let's go ahead and continue on if you go to the local host in the folder that comes with this uh, baby right here you go to nvidia go to assets go to audio to face go to samples go to blend shapes and then mail bs right here i'm going to drag and drop this to our world outliner right here if you would so you have two now you got gray and a blue one and we'll just scoot this over to the right like so, and then I'll just zoom out. This is pretty crazy how quickly this is advancing, to be honest. Okay, so we have two heads now, and we're going to go to our A2F data conversion right here, the input animation mesh. We're going to select this, and we're going to go ahead and go to our water tight high. And then for the blend shape, we're going to choose the blend shape that we just dragged and drop, which is this neutral right here. And then you're going to click on setup blend shape solve. And then what you're going to do is just go ahead and adjust this. And again, you can tweak this as much as you want, but let's just mess around with it like that. Okay, and if I go to audio to face, and if I play this back now, hey, what's going on? So this is Jay from JS Films, and today we're gonna be taking a look at audio to face. What that's doing is actually transferring this animation to the other animation that has the blend shapes. That's really what that is, BS. BS Adam is the blend shapes. After that, all you have to do is export this baby and you're good to go. So to do that, let's go ahead and go back to our A2F conversion. And we're going to click on the BS Atom and go ahead and export as USD scale. And this is why we needed the plugin for Unreal Engine 4 connector because we're going to be importing this. So let's go to export it. And this is going to take it to some uh, folder right here, which, okay, I got it. I'll memorize that. And it's going to do its thing. It's going to render it. Now, I have it set at 60 frames per second, but you can mess around with that if you want. Awesome. So we have Unreal Open now right here. We have our character that I've been working on for a little bit. So you can see he is right there. Let's go ahead and turn up the light right here. I'm going to go turn it up to 8. Okay, that's good to go. And let's just bring it in closer here. So you can see it a little bit better. I know it's really moody. All right, so how do we do this now? I'm going to go to content right here, and I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm going to name this audio du face. If you didn't know, that was French for two. You're welcome. I'm going to right click on it. Import facial animation, and we're going to look for that folder now. Let's see here. I think I left it default name right here. And then for this one, we're going to choose the face skeleton, which is the archetype or archetype, whatever you want to call that. And there you go. It's right here. And now what I'm going to do is create a new sequence, and we're going to call this your mom. And then I'm going to add Phoenix in that sequence. 
right? We're gonna delete the control rig and we're going to track animation, A2F cache. I'm gonna make this bigger and then we press play. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Cause you can actually see, uh, let me go ahead and front light this thing. We're not going like epic cinematic mode right now. I just wanna show you. There's actually like flip roll movement. Look at this lip roll. The lip is actually rolling. And like I said, I pretty much just pick whatever settings I have, but oh man. As is insanity. And let's see if I have a, I, I think I do have, because this is a little short that I am making here. Um, I do have some body mocap. So let's see. I'm going to move this, rotate it to the right. All right. So now we have the body and facial just like that. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, well, Jay from JS Films, Mr. Smarty Pants. What about the eyes? Well, got something for those eyes. This is how you fix those eyes. For now, at least. Until they figure it out. Check this out. You want you want this right here? Bop. Just like that, bro. This is how we do it. This is how we deal with things, guys. Nothing stops us. We just keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Booyah. That's it. Messed up a little bit. Okay, what were you saying about the eye? Uh, 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 what? Animating in the eyes what? I don't see any problems here. I think this works. So now we have this good looking guy on press play right now. Look at this. What? What? All right, so that's enough. All right, so that's pretty much it. That is how you use audio to face from NVIDIA Omniverse onto a MetaHuman in Real Engine 4 using an audio clip. And as far as I know, you can use the auto face with character creator as well. They have a bunch of videos on their channel, uh, but I made this MetaHuman for now so you can see because this just came out. So this is not just uh, MetaHuman, so you can apply this onto a Relusion character creator as well, which is bananas. Like always, if y'all have any questions, let me know and have fun with this and show me some of your results in my channel here in the comment section.